Okay. Let me make sure we are, we are on. Okay. Single most important video. Single most important video that I can do for you guys. Uh, is how to set your amplifier if you don't have a skill of soap. Uh, which is quite expensive. If you do not want to go to a uh, car deal shop and pay them to do it, you can do it yourself with a multimeter, which I told you, number one, is the most important tool in cardio. Most important tool in cardio. Most important thing in cardio is electricity. Power to make power. So you can use your multimeter to set your amplifier. I'm going to show you how you do it. Whether your amplifier makes it power at 4 ohms, 2 ohms, or 1 ohm. Those are the customary amplifier settings to make power. Uh, 4 ohm, 2 ohm, and 1 ohm. Here we have a kicker DXA 250.1. It does 125 watts at 4 ohm and double that power at 2 ohm. So it's 250 at 2. For this to work, you must know that your amplifier does do rated power. For this to work, you must know that your amplifier does do rated power, particularly if your amplifier does not have a fuse rating, like this Kicker DXA. Kicker amps do rated. All of the big boy amps do rated. Orion, Kicker, J Audio, Fallsgate, whatever they say they can, they do, whatever the model number is of that amplifier, you will get that power at that ohm load. So I'm using this amplifier. It's one of my couple that I have just on just for whatever reason I have them. I know this kicker does 250 watts at 2 ohms. It does 125 at 4 ohms. Remember, I told you, amplifier, all amplifier does is take DC voltage in and convert it to AC voltage out. DC voltage in. AC voltage out. I'm not going to turn it all around because I, I have jury rigged this to work with my power supply over here. Uh, what, it, what that means is, oh, okay, I got to reset. Okay, I got you. Been on too long. Boom. Let me turn you back on. What that means is your speakers work on AC voltage. That's how they go back and forth, move, and then the, the wolf of prone that everybody likes to see. It's also it's oscillate uh -huh. oscillation oscillating between positive and negative between the information being sent between the voice coil and the permanent magnet that is the subwoofer and it's going back and forth. Your AC voltage on the speaker outputs tell you exactly how much power is being sent to the subwoofer before rise. And this is how you set your gain, which is not a volume knob, gentlemen. The gain matches your head unit to the input signal. This is the input signal here, the RCAs. You also have some amplifiers have a, a high setting uh, where they, you can put speaker inputs into it. And they have a, a, a switch that you can switch off and on for that. I have mine set for the low, which is the... RCA signal is low voltage. Can go up some, this amplifier, I think, can go all the way up to nine volts on the RCAs. So I'm going to match it to this source unit. Here, the source unit for this amplifier is going to be my phone. And on my phone, I'm going to use, oh, I hope somebody knows you can call me. I'm going to use this app right here. Hmm. The app I'm going to use is the Ultimate Cardio app. Y'all see that? Okay. This is this is the symbol, as you can see in the our, our, uh, Apple App Store. It's right here. Ooh, click that. Ultimate Cardio app. Hit continue. Hit subtone generator. You can set that to whatever you want it. Customarily, you need to set it to 40 hertz. That's going to give you the best musical setting for your amplifier. So I got it set at 40 hertz. I got my volume 
as you can see, I can lower my volume, but I want my volume to max. Now this applies whether you're using a radio, a phone, Bluetooth. I mean, this is direct connect. Most people have Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay, or they have their head unit with CDs, whatever. What you want to do is you want to go into your head unit. You want to put your base to zero, not negative one, negative two, negative three, none of that. You want to put your base to zero, not positive one, two, or three, none of that. You want to put your setting to set your base amplifier to zero. You want to turn off loudness. You want to turn, you should not be using bass boost anyway. You want a flat signal going to the amplifier. Everything should be set flat. Play this part of the video over and over again so you understood. Understand. Everything should be set flat so that you can get no distortion to your signal. Now, if you watch here, I have the amp already set on. Well, I'm turning, I have it set. <laughs> I haven't set. I have the, the gain. I'm going to turn the gain down. Now, when I turn the gain down, watch the AC voltage. Watch what happens with the AT voltage. Very little voltage at all. Four volts, because there's some signal being sent. So, here's the thing. Let's say I want to set it for four ohms to deliver 125 watts. Correct? Four ohms is four ohms of resistance. So, what I would do then is I would take 125, 125, and multiply it by four. We get 500. Then I want to take the then I want to get the square root of 500. The square root of 500 to tell me what to say. My what where I need where I need to turn my gain up. How far I need to turn my gain up to get the AC voltage reading. So I take I want the square root of 500. It's right here. Boom. It's 22.36. Round that number up or down at your discretion, based on the amplifier. This only works if you know your amplifier does rated power. So I'm going to read it, round this up because I know it has a little headroom. I'm going to round it up to 23. So I'm going to set my AC voltage to 23. I'm going to stop when I get there. Okay, I got where I got to put the signal back on. There's no signal going, so I can go back to the app. All right, I right, hit stop. I'm going to hit play. I see voltage being read. I'm going to turn the gain into the AC voltage. Reads 23. You see how it's climbing? You see how it's climbing? There we go. 23. 23.9. I can turn it back down right here to... Uh, uh, Need my audio control guitar pick a little better. Oh, there we go. 23. Now, if I put a four ohms of resistance, four ohms of resistance on the speaker load inputs, where is where my 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 leads on my multi my multimeter are connected. The red to the positive, the black to the negative. If I collect a four ohm load, if I collect a connect a four ohm load, whether it's eight woofers, Four woofers, three woofers, or one woofer. If the amplifier sees a foam load, I'm going to get 125 watts delivered to that subwoofer. And my gain is set correctly. Let's say, now this amplifier does 250 at 2 ohms. Stop. Okay, stop. Now, boom, 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 boom. It does 250 at 2 ohms. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take 250. We're going to multiply it by 2. You get 500. You take the square root of 2 of, of, of that, you get 23. Let me, let me show you that. You take the square root of that, and you get 23 again. So if I put a 2 ohm load, on this amplifier, I'm going to get 250 watts. I did not have to set the gain again. Did you notice that? I did not have to set the gain again. 
Now let's say this amplifier, because as you go down on low, we know that the lower you're going on, the more power it makes. So if it did 125 at 2, and it did 250, I mean 125 at 4, and it did 250 at 2, then let's say this amp, which it doesn't. But let's say this amp did 500 at 1. So I would take 500. 500. I will multiply it by 1. I get 500. I will take the square root of 500. I get 22.3. So since this amplifier is set, now we're going to do it again. Boom, boom. I'm going to hit play. Boop. It's set at 23. So 23 times this new give me 500 some odd watts. So if a, if a one ohm load is connected to this amplifier, I'm going to get 500 watts. If I connect a two ohm load, I'm going to get 250 watts. If I connect a four ohm load, I'm going to get 125 watts. You notice, no matter what the ohm load I put connected, I do not have to mess with the gain again. The gain is matched to this head unit to deliver this power into that ohm load, into whatever ohm load is at the speaker terminals. This works it with any amplifier. Now watch when I stop. Ooh, stop. No signal. No AC voltage. So, let's say, and I'm going to use this amplifier just for example, even though it does not do that. Okay. I got an amp that delivers 1,500 watts to a one ohm load. All right. We're going to take 1,500 watts to times one, one ohm, oh, clear, clear that. How you clear that? Eh, clear, here that, clear. Clear. 1,500 watts times one, which is, we know is what, 1,500. We want the square root of that. It's 38.72. Now, with that being said, what I would do, I need to deliver 38.7. I'm going to go back to my soul with a generator with the four dirt tone. I'm going to hit play. Bam. I'm going to turn this gain until it reaches 38. Mm -hmm. Now we now we run into the problem. Because this amplifier here is too high. This, this is too high of a load. This amplifier here will not go to 38. And the reason why is because it's only ready to do 250 watts between probably 4 and 6 volts at the RCAs. So it's not even going past 31, which means it's clipping. It knows it's clipping, so it's not letting me, no matter how far I turn the game, I'm not going to get 1,500 watts because this amp only gives out. 250 watts at 2 ohm. It doesn't give out any more power. So, I'm going to have to just show you by example. And just watch this video over and over again because this is sing this is singularly the most important video on my channel. How to set your amplifier so you won't be clipping. Don't let nobody who doesn't use this to simplify, set your amplifier, take a, take a knob and say he's going to set it by ear. Because every song is fucking different. Every song is different. Every bass note is different. Some songs have 40 hertz. Some songs have 35. Some songs have 32. Some songs have 38. Every, every dynamic is different. So you cannot set an amplifier by ear on one song. What happens when you play a different song? You could be clipping. You have to set it with mathematics. Electricity is mathematics. So you got an amplifier that does... 1,500 watts, one ohm. You're going to take 1,500 times one. One is the ohm setting. You're going to take the square root of that. And whatever that number is, you turn your multimeter to voltage. Set it to AC voltage. Connect your red lead to the positive, your black lead to the negative. And you're going to turn the gain until you, until you read the number of the ohm load that you're trying to attain. If it's 1,500, it'd be 38.7. I see you got a 3,000 watt amp. It does 3,000 watts at two ohms. Boom, if it does 3,000 watts at two ohms, then, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go 
because this works within Amplify, clear. It does 3,000 watts, 3,000 in two ohms, times two. Oh, God, messed up. 3,000, one, two, three, times two. We already know it's 6,000. We're going to take the square root of that. Square root of that is 77. So we would have to turn our gain until we get to 77. That means that two ohms is going to give out that much power. Now, as you saw when we was doing it with the 125 and the 250, once we set the gain at that ohm low, as low as possible ohm low setting, you're not going to have to set it again. You're not going to have to turn the gain again. Because now the amplifier is set to deliver its full power. Now, let's look at this. My amplifier is a fog gate. It does the same power at one or two ohms. But I'm running it at one ohm because I have four D2 subs. And I have my amplifier set at 39 point, 39 volts, which is like 1591 or something like that. But my birth sheet said that my amp does 2021. Well, why didn't you do that? Because I want headroom. Why didn't you take the square root of 2021 and then set your gain at what the manufacturer says is the power that it does? Because I want my headroom and I want most of my dynamic. I know that as my amplifier plays, it's going to get, sometimes it's going to get, sometimes it's going to go even farther than that. My amplifier, as Wilson is shown on his, out on his, on his channel, it can do like 3,000 watts on dynamic. That's just a short burst, a bass track. Boom, 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 boom. Certain beats on certain songs, it won't do that. But it's going to give me significantly more. Than what I got to set it, but I don't want. I only want to deliver. See, what I'm showing you is how to get clean power, clean power, and leave yourself enough headroom so the amplifier can do those dynamic bursts. So you got an amplifier rated 500 watts. Set it at 500 watts. If you got an amplifier that's rated for a thousand, take the square root of a thousand. Put the terminals in. Turn the gain up on your. Turn the gain up on your amplifier to you. Reached that uh, AC voltage reading. Of course, I did leave out one thing. When you set your amplifier, you must have the signal that's going in up to full volume. So those of you who are watching this video, I hope you're watching until the very end. Because I should have said that in the beginning. I didn't. Make sure you have your head unit up to three quarters of full volume. So you can set everything flat. No loudness. God forbid you're using bass boost. No loudness, no bass boost. EQ flat. If whatever your voltage, whatever your volume number is, whether it's 40 or 60, turn it all up to three quarters, which means whatever your max number is on your head unit. If it says 40, then you're going to take three quarters of that, you're going to say to 30 or 35. You're going to take whatever number that your volume noms is, uh, number that it has, whether it's 60, and you're going to divide that by four. And then you're going to multiply that number by three. And that's when you're going to set your amplifier to deliver its full power. Because you must have the volume at its max. And when you turn it, when I turn my volume to its max, that's when I'm going to get that full power. Because I want you to show, I want you to notice something. Okay. Set. Now I want you to see this. This is a very long, it's a very instructive video. This is the most important video you can watch on my channel. Okay. We know that this amplifier at one ohm will do it with a four ohm load. It's going to, once we set it at 23 volts, it's going to give out its power at every ohm load, right? I don't have to set the game no more, okay? Stop. Okay, now we're going to hit play. Turn the volume all the way up. Boom, boom. All right, now. I said it again because I moved it when I was showing y'all. Set it at 23. Just playing here. 23. It's right there at 23. Now, now I just said at 23, I want to show you something. This is full power of my phone. This is full power of my phone. This is full power of my phone. All right now, at 23, I'm getting the full, and with a two ohm load, I'm gonna get 250 watts. 
Now, what happens when you play below that? Watch what happens to the power. And that's why we're telling you about impedance rise. Let's, let's go down to hertz. Let's go down to hertz. Mm. Let's go down four hertz. Doom, doom. Stop. Play. Let's go down, stop. Let's go down to 30 hertz. So I hope I got everything set right. My bone. Make sure I do, 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 do. That's why I love it. <laughs> One of those amps got the power of the technology. I'm looking, I love this amp. Play. Stop. Play. Not too much will it go down, but it, as what I'm, what I'm trying to show you, it's going to go down a little bit as you go down in frequency because as you go down in frequency it takes more power so if you got your amplifier set to deliver its full power at uh at uh 40 hertz what's gonna happen to 35 you're not gonna get that hurt you're not gonna get that because it makes more power as you go down but that doesn't mean oh i like to play my music my enclosed is tuned to 33 hertz, so I'm going to say deliver, I want my amplifier to deliver the full power of 30, 33 hertz. Okay, let me tell you the bad side about that. Because as you go up in power, <laughs> as you go up in power, you also going to go up in some of this voltage. And that's why you don't want to have, you don't want, 40 is pretty much the go-to standard. I have at times set my amplifier at 38. And I still went back to 40 because I started noticing that my highs were not sound the way I wanted to be. So 40 is pretty much the go-to standard. You see that? Now we're going to play. Am I playing? No, that's what's going on. This amp finally does this sometime. Um, okay. Okay, this is a quick test. Let me see. Go back. And see, continue subtone generator. And everything you said hit play. Boom. Play. Boom. There we go. Back when we was at 23, 23 voltage. Now, watch what happens when I put in uh, 50 volts. Play. Play, boy. I hate when this thing, this app, sometimes the app acts crazy spot. Go back now. 50, play. Uh-oh, what happened? Y'all see what happened? We went down the voltage. Okay, now let's say we did 40. Let's go down to 30. Hit, stop, done, hit, play. Hey, we did it again. Man, this app something else sometimes. Boom. Let's go down to 30. Boom, play. Went down a little bit in voltage. So you you might say, well, okay, but I got one the point I'm trying to make here that if you set it to one hertz setting and you say, well, I play music and my enclosure is tuned lower, so I need to set it for the tune of my enclosure, I would not necessarily do that. That's the point I'm trying to make. Set it for it. That's the go-to standard. That's going to be most musical. That's going to be your most musical. You're going to get all your highs and your lows. When you and Now, if you're just burping, a particular frequency just for shits and giggles. Yeah, you can set your amplifier to deliver its rated power at a certain frequency. Because yeah, the point I'm trying to make is as well wherever you get set it at, when you go below that frequency, you're gonna get less power. Not not too much, because remember you still got that dynamic to take it back over. And as you go above it, you're gonna get a little bit more power. Okay? But uh Pretty much the energy standard and what I use, if you trust me, I'm showing you how to set your amplifier. Set it at 40 hertz and you'll be more than happy. Set it at 40 hertz. That's the go-to standard what everybody uses, man. 40 hertz. what all the installers use. 40 hertz. That's what Wilson Allison, Wilson Allison Labs and all the guys that test amps, Big D. 40 hertz is the test tone for the amplifier. 
that lets it be able to make its power dig low and it dig high and your music can be correct. So set it to deliver that power at 40 hertz. Once again, this is the most important video <laughs> on my channel, how to set your amplifier. It stops you from burning out sub. It stops you from burning out to amplify and have to change often. I have a Fallgate BDCP. I've had that for six years. I said it one time. I only oh I said it again recently because I changed over from the audio control device from the LCI to the LCI Pro. So since I changed the the uh, the source unit where the uh, signal one the signal processor I had to make sure that it was set again. Once you set your amplifier, you never have to say it again. Whatever ohm load you put on it, it's going to give its power. You've seen that earlier in the video. Whatever ohm load you put on it, it's going to give that power because you want to set your amplifier at as low as possible ohm load for the rating that of, for what the power of the amplifier would do. But this only works if your amplifier does rated power. If you don't, if your amplifier... As bogus claims, and you don't know if it do rate, it's not one of the big four, as I call them, uh, Falls Gate, Orion, Kicker, J-Audio. If it's not one of those, uh, go by the fuse rating. Whatever the fuse rating is, multiply it by 10. If it's got a 40 amp fuse, it does 400 watts. If it's got 30 amp fuse or fusing, it does 300 watts. If it's got 80 amps of fusing, it does 800 watts. If it has external fuses 150, it does 1500 watts, and so forth and so on. But you must know that your amplifier does rated power. If not, you will, even with the multimeter, be clipping. This is the next best practical way to set the amplifier outside of using a oscilloscope. It's the oscilloscope first, multimeter, and then the guys don't know what the hell they're doing, talking about they're going to set your amplifier with the ear. Run from them, people. Anyway, shots off. You need the enclosure. This is the most important video. Watch it over and over again. Make sure you understand it. Maybe in some of the notification, I answer some of your questions. But uh, this is very. This is the single most important video on my channel. Setting your amplifier correctly. Peace.